Town Seventy brought rock from Sankarabari to Chief Kota Pass on the Tran Brahma border yesterday to support a force to end human trafficking. <laughs> the event was the conclusion of a 370-kilometer walk from Bengal to the Burma borders that began on November 3rd and covered between 15 and 20 miles by day through Nindaburi, the Compatant and Ganshaburi province. The group walked for 15 days to raise money for five organizations that walked to combat the trafficking of men, women, and children across the industry in Asia, Africa, North America, South America, and Europe. Two days. I wouldn't have made it today, though, if I carried it like Two women founded the work, Ali from America and Tani from Thailand. Tani explained the challenges they faced along the way. <laughs> yeah, we got blisters within blisters, which we didn't think it was possible. Um, and before the walk happened, during operational planning, uh, we we struggle a little bit with sponsorship because we're trying to find uh, people who can resonate with what we're doing and because human trafficking is not the most popular and sexiest issue in Thailand, uh, people tend to listen to it and didn't really understand it. So we got a lot of no's um, and I think because we sort of believe that we can and eventually like we found someone. So it's it just a lot of... A lot of um, believing and having faith. Yeah. Ellie discovered that human rights abuse frequently endure behind the sufferer of trafficking. I think the, the reason both Tani and I feel strongly that we wanted to advocate for this issue is um, trafficked people don't really have uh, the ability to make choices about their own life. That, that freedom has been taken away from them. And I think if you don't have that, you can't really have anything else. Um, so that just really, really fundamental level ability to make decisions about your own life and your future, um, I think it's probably, you know, there's there's a whole host of abuses that go into someone who's been trafficked, but I think that that's what really hits home. Yeah, and that's why um, we call freedom to walk. Yeah. According to the Fronas, the world surpassed its fundraising goal and raised nearly US dollar 120,000.